Hello everyone, Jordan Claycott here, and as you can see, I have the Extreme Mac Tough Wrap Shift case here to review for you today. This is the blue and white version, and the unique thing about this case is it changes colors. As you can see on the side here, color changing case. This is the packaging. Here's the case itself. We're going to go ahead and set that to the side. Pretty basic packaging comes in right there. I did find it a little difficult to open. Once I got past here, it was kind of attached right there and I didn't know how to get it out. So I just went ahead and yanked at it and ripped it open. But not a problem, still works. Like I said, here's the case. On the inside, it's a very soft, silicone type rubbery feeling. Extremely soft, not sticky at all. On the outside here, you can see it is a glossy finish, so it slides in and out of your pockets perfectly. And it's not horrible with fingerprints. It definitely shows some, but it's not bad. And what I really love is the scratches. As you can see, there's no major scratches on here. There's a few small ones, but nothing compared to other cases we've seen, like the candy shell. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put this on, and then show you exactly what I mean by color changing. So basically, I have my iPhone 4S here. We're just going to go ahead and kind of slide it in and just work it on. Pretty basic. It does pop up your screen protector a little bit depending how close it is to the edge and depending on how big your screen protector is, I guess. But it's not horrible. It doesn't do it in all spots. I've just noticed it down here where mine was already popped up a little bit. But there you can see there. It does have a little lip if you want to set it down on the table like that. On the back here, a nice wide cutout for your camera. On the top, great cutout for headphones. Your hold and lock button here is covered. It is the only thing that's covered. And it's a little tricky to push at first. You definitely have to get used to it. But after a little while, it's no problem to get used to it. Taking a look at the bottom here, as you can see, cutouts for everything you need there. And one large cutout here on the side for everything. All right. One thing I did notice, cosmetically, that I wasn't a huge fan on was this line that ran around it from just the molding process. It's not a huge issue at all and it didn't bother me at all. It's just something I wanted to point out. If you're really picky and OCD about your cases, it could irritate you. Didn't bother me, but as you can see here, just holding it, it started to change colors from the heat of my hand. I'm going to go ahead and hold it like that for a minute. It's a little warm in here, so we should see... Yep, right away. As you can see, it left the imprint of my hand right there. And after about a minute or so, it'll cool down and go back to the darker shade. So that's what makes this case so unique. It's changing colors, and one second you put it in your pocket, dark blue, and you pull it out, and it's light blue. And a lot of people think that's really cool. They see your case different colors, and it definitely attracts a lot of attention. So taking this case off, I just kind of worked around the bottom here worked around this corner here and just kind of worked it off. Nothing to be worried about. You're not going to hurt it. There we go. Set the phone down. Here's the case. Like I said, everything seems pretty strong. I did drop my phone a couple times. Whoops, bumped the camera. Dropped my phone a couple times and it was A-OK. -okay. I wasn't worried. It is a little kind of shock absorbent. I'm not that worried and it's got a good thickness where it doesn't add too much bulk to the phone but it's enough to protect it perfectly. This case is about $29 plus shipping depending where you buy it from and I definitely highly recommend it. It comes in multiple colors and they change into different colors so be sure to take a look. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.